So I'm seeing that there's a metaphor here that people are going to be used as bird food. Um, I feel like somebody feels like they're being used like a pawn, almost like their situation is not important or they don't feel like they hold a high position. Even if they have the knowledge and the skill to go really far in life, it's like they're just not being put in the game. Um, somebody is afraid of being cut off or they see what's happening like somebody's about to break up or somebody's about to get fired in some way, lose some type of skill or something. Like, I just feel like there's this anxiety in the air, like um, things are just not okay. But, okay, um, I'm not sure if this is, this is a reality or this is something psychological, like somebody's trying to plant these seeds of doubt within you. Because then there's a sense like that the heavens heavens are opening and, and, and releasing blessings upon you. And it's almost like the angels wanted to kind of push you into this humble state of mind so that you were willing to receive. Because I felt like somebody felt like they could do it all and they just refused to ask for help. So then God had to push you all the way to the end so that you can finally open your hands. And I'm hearing something about a closed mouth that doesn't get fed high. This is a tarot reading. I'm a psychic. In the next few minutes, I'm going to use my intuition to read the energy in the room. The insights I receive are for whoever these vibrations resonate with. There are no limits on anything said in this message. So first, I'm going to start with the current energy that I'm discerning right now. And then I'll take a look at the cards and find out what could have led to this moment. Remember, this is a general reading, so everything might not make sense to everyone listening at once. Take what fits your situation for now and be mindful as the different frequencies resurface in various ways. Please don't force what doesn't belong in your life at this time and allow someone else to hear what they need to hear. All of my readings are divinely guided and meant for the purpose of entertainment. In no way should they be taken out of the context of spiritual expression. I'm not a doctor or licensed therapist, nor can I give medical or financial advice. Use your best judgment when being here. And if you enjoy the time spent, please share something meaningful to someone who needs it. Holy Spirit, God, the Son, love and light, please guide my gift to align with the frequencies of your body. What was going on in the past that led us to here? Someone keeps trying to do the same thing over and over and over again. And that's what led that's what led you to where you are right now. Things breaking down. This tower moment. Being prideful. Being prideful of your position. Could have potentially led you here. But I feel like it's like Einstein said. Something about repeating the same thing and expecting different things to happen is the definition of insanity. And this is what I feel like this tower moment is the, the basically this insanity is just going to end now. It's like you try to be loyal to the cause for long enough and now it's time to change your tactics and change your strategy. The good thing is that you are able to adapt. It's just that you're not going to move with the wind. So maybe somebody saw you being you know, steadfast and doing something that just really wasn't working. And you seem to have faith that everything will work out, but maybe it's just not moving as quickly as you would like. Well, now I'm feeling like you not just have the permission to move on, but you're starting to give yourself, like you're starting to open up to the idea or the option. Yeah. You're giving yourself the option of, moving to a better strategy, moving forward, changing up your tactics in some way, maybe changing your personality or developing your personality a little bit more because I feel like maybe in the past you you already had it out what the way you thought and it maybe was shown very clear to you that you're not someone who can just flip flop. Like is maybe in the beginning it's very important for you to be true to who you are so that it kind of gives a light to other people like you might have been a tower. You might have been a, a lighthouse for some people. Maybe you're an older sibling or a parent or 
you have a, a position of power where other people look up to you. So you didn't really have the the option of being weak or being uh, indecisive or unsure about something. You had to kind of fake it till you made it. And now it's like, okay, well, you still haven't made it. So maybe it's time to stop being fake. Somebody feels trapped or they felt trapped in the past. And that's what's leading, to you. That's what's leading you to this change. This thing being ended, this whatever it is, like this energy is 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 not here to stay. It's something that you're gonna pass through. If you're getting cut off from the source, is that's just a fleeting feeling. Maybe you let go for a moment and it just opened up your world to this abundance, like because you were being in this state of lack, holding on to something that you needed to let go. It was making you lose what you already had almost like you weren't able to look at what you have and be grateful for what you have because you kept having to focus on what you want but now it's like well you're not getting what you want so you might as well be grateful for what you have some people this may be resonating with some people going through this situation There's more mention about heaven. Maybe heaven being poor. Maybe somebody is just going to have to accept the fact that they're poor. Or that they have a poor spirit. Like they're just not the happy-go-lucky type of person. Because I feel like somebody tried to break you down. And, um, and, and it's like you're just at the end. Almost like somebody's just at the end of their... Um, you know, one time too many getting knocked down. And it's like, okay, maybe I didn't win this fight. Maybe I need to lay down and prepare for something. Prepare next time, you know, like maybe do a little more, more training next time. It's definitely not the end of the world, but I feel like you just can't go on pushing, pushing, pushing at something that's just not working up. Not, it's not given, it's not given up to you. And you have the humility and the and the common sense to know that your world does not end just because of whatever the situation is ending. No matter what it is, a relationship, a job, anything that's ending right now, as long as it's not your life, you can live another day. But I'm on, I'm getting like is thinking like a child and just having this this optimism that as long as you put your mind to it you can have the desires of your heart. And I feel like somebody is just maybe just thinking that maybe they need to adapt and revise the desires of their heart. So it's like, maybe somebody bit off a little more than they could chew. And now you just want something easier, something that doesn't require so much, uh, horsepower. Like you want to live in an area where you can walk places right next door, down the street, like a real urban city where resources are easily accessible. This could be for some people, maybe living out in the country and trying to plow the fill is just not it right now. But then I'm seeing like, like somebody is just not happy with their situation, whether it's a countryside or a jungle or a, 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 a cement jungle. I feel like somebody maybe has to just accept that they might be sad. Maybe accepting the sadness and loving themselves exactly where they are is what's going to be healing for you. Maybe that's going to give you your justice. Would somebody try to rush you in the past and make you choose without really understanding the full consequences of what you were getting yourself involved with. They wanted to pull the rug out from under your feet. And maybe that's what, maybe that's what you're going to, that's where you're going to go back to and 
get justice for that. But I don't see anything changing financially except for your ability to appreciate what you have. That's a big difference for some people. It's not always about money coming in or wealth or, you know, this new love. Is Sometimes it really is just being grateful for your current situation. And then, you you know, when you least expect it, then that's when that's when the heavens open up. Maybe it's like somebody is just doesn't want to be seen approaching you. Like you're like you're too focused on who is about to give you something that is kind of like intimidating them or, or, or forcing them like to go into hiding or you're like scared right now. But as soon as you let go and let God, then these blessings will just come in because they I feel like whoever it is, they want to feel like they are in control or something. They want to feel like is even if they're new and the very new and they don't really understand the way things work around here in your life or whatever situation you've cultivated, they still want to feel like that, like the world is under their feet. Even if you know that things are about to, things need to be more organized and planned out. They want it. They want things to feel more spontaneous. It's kind of difficult in terms of manifestation. You want to be very clear about what you want. Um, but here I feel like it's really like you just have to trust and accept that the Holy Spirit is going to give you exactly what you need. Things are going to be in balance. Someone closely related to you or someone near you is going to be the one blessing you. So you don't have to look out and reach that far. I feel like people are already talking about what they can do to help your situation. There are countless stars right now watching you from heaven is what I'm fearing, what I'm hearing. Somebody being in fear, maybe. I feel like it's really just about letting go of uh, the need to be uh, provided for some women were watching from a distance. Something about the temple being torn in two. Maybe you feel like you're on a display, like whatever you're going through is, is like, it's not getting any better, but it seems to be getting worse. And not only is it worse, but now it's just like for display. Somebody is feeling lonely and afflicted and it doesn't seem to be any hope in sight for this person, but there definitely is just a matter of letting go. In this energy, I definitely feel like it's going to lead to more balance once you admit that you don't have control over anything. Maybe that you don't see what's happening and that you're unable to predict what's happening. Even if you can, if you really put your mind to it and really try, I feel like you're going to be more successful by just letting the universe take over. Because you've done enough, enough work to basically have fun from here on out. It's almost like someone digging a well and now the river is going to pour through that ditch no matter what. As the, the ground, the way, the way you planned out this strategy, the way gravity works and the leveling of the topography, it just means the blessings are coming towards you because they're coming either way. Somebody might have came to you and approached you and tried to make you feel like you had to do less than you were doing. Like they were trying to make it seem doing too much, but you do as much as you need to because the preparations work. They make sense. This trench you built is allowing these blessings to pour in. Even if it's your love for humanity, but at the same time, you might have been shown that a lot of these people that you support and want to see do well don't actually have your best interests and heart you at all you were just able to rise above them and and help whoever it is that is willing to accept what you have to offer maybe somebody wasn't willing to accept what you had to offer but you still live it's another day also this could have something to do with the live that you recently saw Things are definitely in motion. And you're going to have more on your plate. 
It's not about getting cut off at all. That's not the case. You just start right back up again. Yeah, somebody's trying to cut you off, but you know, it is what it is. You just keep starting right back up again. You're going to have more to juggle. They were trying to cut you off at two, but you got eight coming in and the, and eight is a symbol of infinity. Like they, they maybe just as a gatekeeper, the gatekeepers that they are, they see, as soon as they see you, they try to stop you, but they don't realize that you're just at the beginning. You're just getting started and then you go on forever. 